Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with my quick tea time moment video. And because I got to tell y'all the truth, I broke down today. I broke down today and I went to my friend, you know, Miss Starbucks there. And that's, I have my tea, okay? Um, Don't judge me. But, you know, every day you just try to do one step at a time and do better with your nutrition, your eating habits, and your exercising, right? So today's tea time moment is dedicated to the month of November, right? The month of November, we have the holiday Thanksgiving. And, you know, usually in that holiday, you, you know, when you sit around and you you're eating with your family, y'all might say what you're grateful for or what you're thankful for, or maybe just how you're going to just forgive somebody, um, let go and, and let everything be okay. So I know that at the very um, time that it happened between Will Smith and Chris Rock, you know, everybody was in the emotions. It was at the height of it, right? Um, they was like, you know, either Team Chris Rock or, or, or Team Will Smith, right? And it was a lot of debates going back and forth about forgiveness. You know, people was like, no, he don't ever have to forgive Will Smith because it was dead wrong, right? And so I'm here, I'm going to say it's approximately eight months later after the Oscars. And it's the month of November, the month of forgiving and thanksgiving, right? And gratefulness. So I come before y'all again and say, can we not just have these two come together? Can Chris Rock, you know, for lack of a better word, let this go and forgive Will Smith and remember all the good times in the friendship they had before the very moment when he got up out his seat at the Oscars, walked up to the stage and, you know, kind of tap Chris Rock, you know, on the face. Um, you know, it was a slap, but it wasn't like a, a knockdown, beat down slap. And I'm not minimizing the slap, guys. I'm just saying, can we not forgive? Can we say, you know, call this the truth? Can we get maybe either Oprah or, or Gail or Iyana Van Sant to pull these two men together and say, you know what? Let's see how we can work through this and move past this situation. I always say to everyone, listen, our worst mistake doesn't define us. Um, this might have been for the public's eye, the public's consumption on um, Will Smith's worst mistake. Are we going to continue to beat him down with a stick over his worst public mistake? I say no. I say it's eight months later. I say it's time. Um, and again, I do not condone, okay, before y'all chat, start chatting with me in the comments, I do not condone for one moment what Will Smith did to Chris Rock. All I'm asking at this time during the month of November, forgiveness, happiness, joyfulness, um, uh, coming together, you know, at the family table, you know, passing, you know, the macaroni cheese, the collard greens, the cornbread, or whatever it is that you eat, you know, during this time of uh, uh, festivities, you know, can we not just let this go and forgive? And while we're at asking, can we get forgiveness? Can we get some resolution between the Cardi B and a uh, 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 Nicki Minaj thing? Can we get some resolution between the Cardi B and Natasha K thing? And I'm sure the list can go on and on of people that we would like to see resolve their beef, so to speak. But at the top of my list for today's tea time is Will Smith and Chris Rock. Chris Rock and Will Smith. So guys, that's all I got for you. Can we get some forgiveness? Can we let this go? Can we understand that, you know what? Maybe our biggest mistake doesn't define our whole entire life. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Let me know in the chat, is it time for forgiveness? So Chris Rock, have a sit down, whether it's private or public, with Will Smith and hug it out 
and say, let's let this thing go. Usually guys are better at, um, you know, making up um, in terms of, you know, when it comes to the guys and the girls. You know, usually us ladies, sometimes we can hold a grudge for life. And usually the guys can, you know, just kind of bump it out, fist it out, hug it out, whatever, and say, you know what, bro, um, messed up, I'm sorry, um, we're going to carry on with life. So chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. And tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be recapping the Real Housewives of Potomac. Listen, don't miss that live. We got a lot to talk about. Um, what an interesting episode last night, to say the least. And they have Chris Bassett up on the cross and, and, and they nailing him down, um, you know, one, one, one body part at a time. See y'all later, guys. Bye. <laughs>